welcome to nasir soft this is the national language processing tutorial series and in this video i will show you how you can apply the sentiment analysis by using the nltk okay so uh, this is my program and first i import the nltk and all its packages so now for sentiment analysis i will use the text block okay for this uh, from NL uh, from text block here from text block import text block so I am I will use the text block as an sentiment if you not install then first install the text block package okay so now first I will show you how you can uh, use the text block and you uh, you will apply from a text uh, the sentiment analysis and after that then I will show you about how you can apply this to the whole uh, tweet, uh, Twitter's data okay that is inside the tweets okay so the first step is how we can apply the sentiment analysis for this for example inside the uh, text variable I have some text and the text is this is Nasir soft thanks for watching and for example this text okay so now here I create a function that name is sentiment and the argument that is for example something text okay and inside the function I will return that is text blob dot sentiment okay of the text okay this is not here this is basically text block of text okay of senti dot sentiment function and here for example if i print this text okay if i print inside the print if i call this sentiment function okay that is the sentiment function and uh, for this text here this is text so if I print the, uh, if I pass the, uh, basically if I call the sentiment function and with this parameter and this will return me that specific sentiment of this specific parameter and that is argument. Okay. So if I execute this program, you will see here it returns me the polarity and the subjectivity as the text block dot sentiment return as two things that is the first is polarity and second is subjectivity so in this tutorial I will focus on the polarity so if the polarity have positive value it means that it is positive sentiment and if the polarity has a negative value then it means that it is the negative sentiment and if it value is equal to zero then it is neutral so for this text this is Nasir soft thanks for watching this is the positive sentiment okay so now you see that how you can apply the sentiment on your text okay so our next now I will show you how you can apply this sentiment to the Twitter's data that all the tweets okay for example I have already extracted some tweets and the tweets are inside my Excel uh, CSV file okay and and you can see here for example this one inside the text attribute it contain all the tweets okay for example the first tweet the second third and so on so I will apply I, I will show you how you can apply uh, the sentiment on this all these tweets okay so through panda first I uh, import this file or read this file and after that I will apply the sentiment on the text attribute so for reading the file here import the panda import if you have not installed yet the pandas please install it before importing spd 
and here I remove this text now basically I want to read all the tweets data so and here for example this is the data file variable inside this one by using the pandas pd dot read csv and inside the csv here make the url of the file as my file is inside the desktop so therefore the path is like this one and if i print the data file just for the checking purpose is as it imports successfully or not and here i exit if i execute this there is an error invalid argument okay so basically the file path is invalid so basically the link is uh, the, there is an error inside the links first remove this and this is forward slash and here gives the complete url of the desktop this one this is forward slash so whatever your file location please include the file path now if i again execute after correcting the url now you will uh, see that all the uh, file is successfully imported and all the tweets are inside the text attribute okay perfect so now remove this print one here now we already include uh, the all the tweets inside the data file so inside the data file now i create a new attribute and name it for example sentiment okay and inside the sentiment by using the text attribute okay as this all tweets are inside the text attribute so therefore of the data file text attribute i will apply the sentiment apply okay and the lambda that is for example throughout the loop of each tweet first apply on the first tweet the sentiment and save the result inside a new attribute that is sentiment okay so apply for first tweet and pass it to the function that is sentiment this one and with the argument of x okay so one by one each text of each tweet passing to the function and return its sentiment and save the result inside the sentiment as i show you that text block dot sentiment give us the sentiment and polarity okay for this tutorial i only save the result of the first uh, it's uh, uh, inside the array that is polarity okay for the sentiment zero only show only save the polarity inside the sentiment of each uh, tweet okay so if i execute this and after the execution if i print for example this uh, whole data now here if i again execute you will see that it will apply the each sentiment to the each individual tweet, uh, tweet and save it inside a new attribute okay if i show you the result then you will find here inside the text there is all the text data and inside the sentiment it's sentiment polarity value as this is positive this is positive this is negative basically the text in this government is so horrible i must say okay and so on so therefore this is negative this is neutral and if the value is greater than zero then the value is will be positive at zero this is neutral and if the value is negative then the sentiment is neutral uh, negative sorry so this is how you can apply the sentiment analysis by using the text block on your twitter data or your text data in python so hope this video will help you a lot if you have any question regarding to this topic you can email me Email is mentioned in video description or you can comment inside the video comment section. Uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel for more informative videos. Stay blessed. Have a nice day.